No more debates or town halls, just seven days to election day, and more than 60 million Americans have already cast their ballots. Some states like Maryland have just started early in-person voting, while others are winding down and waiting for the big day on November 3rd. Americans line up in the thousands to exercise their right to vote. Here's a report. The pre-election voting for November 3rd has surpassed all pre-election ballots cast in the history of America. With just seven days left until the election day, over 60 million Americans have already voted so far. Maryland has opened its early voting centers for the 2020 general elections. Hundreds of American voters lined up outside the 81 early voting centers across the state of Maryland. Election officials have implemented safety measures at the early voting centers to help stop the spread of COVID-19. The lines, they, everybody was really good about keeping the six feet social distancing. Um, in the booth, it was easy to, to socially distance. And uh, it was one of the things I was really concerned about. Democrats have continued to dominate the initial balloting but Republicans are narrowing the gap. The red voters have begun to show up at early in-person voting, a sign that many heeded President Trump's unfounded warnings about voting fraud. But most GOP voters are expected to vote on election day. Since all my years in the United States, I've never seen quite an unprecedented people just turn out. And today is not even the election day. Today is 26 and people, millions are just on the line. I can't believe it myself. Overall, the top three states that have seen the largest increase in early voter turnout so far are New Jersey, Delaware and Virginia. Let's take a look at the skyrocketing turnout in several key states that Donald Trump won in 2016. Florida. While Florida Democrats maintain an advantage in pre-election turnout, data shows the gap is narrowing as more red voters are coming out to vote. North Carolina. North Carolina Democrats are also outpacing Republicans in their percentage of the pre-election voters. But once again, that margin is narrowing amid a surge in early voting in the state. Pennsylvania. A key state that Trump had won by less than one percentage point in 2016. Democrats continue to hold significant advantage. About 70% of pre-election votes have come from Democrats so far, compared to about 20% from Republicans. Michigan. A 2018 ballot measure changed Michigan's rules to allow anyone to vote by mail without an excuse. And ballot returns this year are more than triple what they were at this time four years ago. Arizona. Democrats now lead Republicans in their share of ballots cast 42% to 34% respectively. At this time four years ago, Republicans, 41% of ballots cast at the time, outpaced the 38% cast by Democrats. In 2016, around 58.3 million pre-election ballots were cast, which accounted for about 42% of all ballots cast in the 2016 election. Now, America is waiting to witness a historic voter turnout in what they say is the most important election in American history. U.S. Election Desk, we on World is One.